Chapter 8, Section 4, Multiplying Special Cases. The square of a binomial. The square of a binomial is the square of the first term plus twice the product of the two terms plus the square of the last term. Um, written in notation instead of in words, the same thing written in um, using notation would be if you had a plus b, your two terms would be, in this case, our a and b. So if you have a plus b squared, it's going to be equal to your first term a squared plus two times the product of your two terms, so two times a times b, plus the square of your second term, so in this case it would be b squared. You have to be careful though, because if you have a minus b squared, you would have a squared still, your first term squared, but now it's gonna be minus two times a times b, but then it's gonna be plus um, b squared. Something that I want to point out and kind of make a big deal about is that the FOIL method distributed property or making a table are also going to work on these. These that we're talking about today are just shortcuts that you can um, use, but if you don't remember them, you can still use that FOIL method, you can still use the distributed property, and you can still make a table. Um, so those don't just go away. You don't have to use um, the square of a binomial um, that we've just talked about. You could still use the FOIL method. You would just have a plus b times a plus b, and that would be fine. You would end up with the same answer. Um, this first example says, what is the simplified form of each product? We're going to go ahead and use um, the special cases that we've talked about. So if I have x plus 5 squared, x plus 5 squared is going to be equal to your first term x squared plus 2 times your two terms, the product of your two terms, so 2 times x times 5 plus 5 squared, which would be your second term squared. There's nothing that I can do to x squared, so x squared is going to stay the same, but 2 times 5 times x is 10x, and then 25, uh, 5 squared is 25. So x squared is going to be left alone. 2 times 5 gives you 10x plus 5 squared is 25. In the next example, we have 3n minus 1 squared. Again, you could write this two times and use the distributive or FOIL method, um, but using your special case, we can say that 3n minus 1 squared is going to be the same as 3n squared minus 2 times 3n times 1 plus 1 squared. In this case, 3n squared is 9n squared. Remember, that would be the product to a power. You have to square both 3 and n. Minus 2 times 3 is 6, so minus 6n, and then plus 1. This next example says, what is the area of the shaded part of the figure below? In order to find the area of the, just the shaded part of the square, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find the area of the larger square, which they tell me has a side length of x plus 5, and subtract the area of the smaller square, which they, they tell me has a um, side length of x. The first thing I need to do is um, find the area of the largest square, x plus 5, and remember to find the area of a square, you can square the sides. Using our special case, x plus 5, would equal x squared plus 10x plus 25. The area of my smaller square would be x times x, which is x squared. Now what I need to do is I need to take my x squared plus 10x plus 25, which would be the area of my larger square, and I need to subtract the area of my smaller square, which was x squared. If you remember combining or adding or sub and subtracting polynomials, I need to combine my like terms. So in this case, my only like terms are going to be my x squared. x squared minus x squared is going to cancel out, but I'm still left with 10x plus 25. So the area of the shaded part of the figure would be 10x plus 25 units squared. This next example says, what is 49 squared? Use mental math. 
So by use mental math, they're saying don't just take 49 squared and plug it into your calculator and get an answer. I want to actually see that you're using um, one of these special cases, one of the um, problems where you are um, multiplying two binomials together. So I'm going to rewrite, and you could actually rewrite 49 um, two different ways. You could write it as 50 minus 1, or you could write it as 40 plus 9. I chose to write it as 40 plus 9. So I would have 40 plus 9 and then squared. 40 plus 9 squared, I would need to use my special case, 40 squared plus 2 times 40 times 9 plus 9 squared. Um, 40 squared is 1,600, 2 times 40 times 9 is 720, and then plus 81, um, plus 9 squared is 81. Go ahead and add these numbers together and you get 2,401. The next um, thing we need to talk about is the product of a sum and a difference. The product of a sum and difference of the same two terms is going to be the difference of their squares. So if I had a plus b times a minus b, that's going to be equal to a squared minus b squared. This example says what is the simplified form of x squared minus 6 times x squared plus 6? Notice my two terms, x squared and 6, appear in both of the binomials that I am multiplying. What I need to do is I need to take both terms and I need to square them and then find the difference. So what, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my two terms, x squared and 6, and I'm going to square them, so x squared squared, and I'm going to subtract 6 squared. Well, x squared squared... Um, would be a power to a power will give me x to the fourth and then minus 6 squared is 36. I can't combine these because they're not like terms so my answer is at x to the fourth minus 36. This next example says what is 38 times 42? I want to use my special case that I just talked about which would be the product of a sum and a difference. So if you look at these two numbers, 38 and 42, I can rewrite 38 as 40 minus 2, and I can rewrite 40 as 40 plus 2. When I do that, 40 minus 2 and 40 plus 2, I have the product of a sum, 40 plus 2, and a difference, 40 minus 2, of the same two terms, 40 and 2 which means that I can use my special case, which is um, a squared minus b squared. In this case, a would be 40 and b would be 2. So I have 40 squared minus 2 squared. 40 squared is 1,600. 2 squared is 4. 1,600 minus 4 is 1,596. Today's assignment is on page 525. It's numbers 1 through 4 and 10 through 40 even, and then number 41. Um, if you want to double check your answers using the FOIL, table, or distributed property methods, um, feel free to do so. But I would also encourage you to try to use some of these special cases. Um, but always remember that you can go back to that FOIL method the table method or the distributed property, especially if you're on a test or something, um, you don't have to use the special case. If you can't remember it, it would be better to use one of the um, methods that you know how to use as opposed to trying to figure out something that you can't really remember.